Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Data Corner. Today we are diving into the world of Microsoft Outlook and VBA to automate the extraction of specific information from your emails and saves it neatly into an Excel file with the help of ChatGPT. Let's get hands-on and ask ChatGPT to write us a powerful VBA macro in Outlook that will pull email body of the emails. So we give the prompt to ChatGPT and we receive a response with a code. So let's get to our Outlook and go to developer tab. If you do not see the developer tab, then just go to file menu, options, and from customized ribbon, make sure your developer tab is selected. Click on okay, and you should be able to see the developer tab. Click on the developer tab, visual basic, click on insert, and then a module. So let's copy and paste the code that ChatGPT gave us and try to run it. All right, seems like a simple code, so let's run it. You can either Take this green button here or you can also press f5 to run it okay so sometimes if you receive this error this means that you need to close your outlook and open again so let's do that okay so i've restarted it so let me go back to developer tab visual basic now let's try to run this okay so we tried running it and we get an error that says runtime error the attempted operation failed object could not be found so click on debug and this would normally take you to the line that is causing the problem. Seems like this has a generic folder name, your folder name. ChatGPT also gave us a comment that said the folder path change inbox to a desired folder name. All right, so let's do that. So the folder we want to see is within the banking folder and then it says easy pesa. So let me add that. So our first folder will be banking and then we will copy and paste this again just to access the subfolder and then we will give the subfolder's name. Normally a good idea to just copy and paste the name. Now let's try to run the code again. It seems like it ran fine as there were no errors and our data gets printed to the image window as you can see down below. But it's not too useful in its current form. So we can take it a step further and ask ChatGPT if we can extract the data and put it in an Excel file. Next question to ChatGPT is, can I save the data in Excel file? And we get our revised macro. Let me copy and paste and I'm going to add another module and paste this here. I'm just going to keep the first module for reference. One thing we need to change is folder structure. So I'm just going to copy and paste this whole line. Another thing we need to change is the save location of the file. So let's save it in the current folder. I'm going to give it the path to the current folder, which is right here. And then we will give it the file name. In our case, we can just say email data. Click on save and now let's run this again. The code works fine and we have the Excel file created. Let's open it up. We get two columns. One is the email subject and second column is the email body. Second column has text wrapped in Excel as multi-line. So if you click on F2 or you make this a bit bigger, you should be able to see the data that is being extracted and put into one cell. If we move down, we have information from all the cells. If we review our emails, we should be able to see that this is the same information that we want to pull. So it means that our code is pulling the information correctly. Right, so we can improve this a bit further. We can ask it that we only need information starting from transaction details and ending before total. So we just want this block right here. So let's ask ChatGPT that we want information extracted starting from here till here. So I give that prompt to ChatGPT and we get the updated code. So let's copy and paste this code in another module. So let me add another module three. I'm gonna paste this here. I'm going to update the folder structure and the file save location. Okay, I'm just going to change the name a bit as well. So let's run the code again. Looks like it ran properly. So let's check our Excel file. Okay, we have the new Excel file created. Let's open it up and voila. We are able to extract the only desired information between two text blocks. And you can see it works for all of other cells as well. We can also add other information related to emails like send a name, time it was sent on, etc, etc. You can read more on these on Microsoft website. These are available on learn.microsoft.com. I will add the link on the screen. And there you have it. We have created a powerful VBA macro that transforms your Outlook experience from automating the extraction of specific information to seamlessly integrating with Excel. This macro is a game changer. If you're ready to take control of your inbox and harness the potential of VBA, give this tutorial a try. Remember, the key to efficiency is automation and VBA is an excellent tool for the job. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech tutorials and I will see you in the next video.